I'm gonna start this video off by saying I'm not naming names, <laughs> the soulmates, but you guys are definitely the reason for this right here happening three times in one week. Just like the title says, I think I may have branched out into another sneaker brand. What's up everybody, it's your girl TJ here, back with another video, Talks with TJ, aka TJ, to swoosh change. Thank you again so much always for tuning in to my videos on my channel. If you're already subscribed, you guys know that I love rocking with you in the comments section, so be sure to engage there. If you're brand new, I have no idea what brought you to my video, if it showed up in your recommended feed, somebody shared it, somebody told you about me, I really don't care. You know what? I just appreciate you taking time out of your day. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You already know the drill. Hit the bell, that way you are notified when I make videos and upload them, get them out to you guys. And also, if you enjoy the video, you can go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Understand, I am not offended if you don't. You can't please everybody, and I am just a okay with that. <laughs> now, this video. So we all know I am known as the Nike queen, queen of Nike. People mistake it all the time. They think that I actually work for Nike. No, I do not, but we got we got a pair of shoes here and I don't want to keep y'all crazy long, but if you are not familiar with the soulmates, I don't know if you are. If you're not, I would advise you go ahead and subscribe to them. Don't you worry, there'll be a card up here somewhere for them because they are the reason for this. I just want to point that out. They are the reason for this. So if you're familiar with their channel, a lot of their unboxings have absolutely nothing to do with hype. Don't get me wrong, they get some hype shoes. You know, Kiana got the Blue Chill ones and they get quite a few retro Jordans that come in. I know Marcus had to have the Candy Cane 14s. They just got the Brett Fours as well, but you know what? They tend to have this brand on their channel more than any other sneaker channel I happen to follow, be subscribed to, or really rock with. And I like the fact that it's different. Like I can go there and get something different. These have been on my mind for a minute now. I am not, uh, I'm not gonna say I haven't looked at these already, but I had for a minute. I don't know if you can guess what they are. If you're familiar with their channel, you can probably guess what I have in my hand right now. It is a Vans box, ladies and gentlemen, a Vans box. Now, this is my very first time ever purchasing Vans whatsoever. I chose to go with, I chose to go with something real chill. It's really kind of like my personality. Like, I know I joke around, I'm sarcastic. I think people think I'm comical. Uh, but I'm actually just a really chill, laid back person a lot of the things that i will buy for like my wardrobe or what i would like are more of those um kind of uh i, I guess like classic pieces like they don't have to have a ton of loud colors and things like that not that i'm not a fan of color y'all got y'all know i got some all vault <laughs> uh air max ones but i just wanted to keep it to keep it true keep it basic keep it simple with this very first purchase so i don't know any other better way to do that <laughs> other than by getting the uh the vans authentic true white so that's what i got now you may be wondering where i got these from um i actually went on ebay to get them now you're probably thinking why did you go on ebay don't you guys have these at you know foot locker kids foot locker yes we actually do we carry vans here's the problem i actually went after it's the mo it's basic it's about as basic no offense it is as whatever full offense it's as basic as a white girl at starbucks with a north face and black leggings and uggs on okay that's how basic this shoe is but it's so basic that everyone wants it all the time because it's so perfect to pair with a lot of things so we didn't have it we were out of stock but i wanted said shoe so i decided you know what i'm gonna get said shoe so i got the basic all white vans now i really don't care if y'all flame me don't like it rock with it don't rock with it you know i'm not gonna be offended by it whatsoever you know my shirt my shirt says do what you love which means i'm gonna buy the sneaker i want to buy this is my channel so i decided to go with the basic all white vans just so you know authentic stickers all over this this joint from this to the quality sticker on the inside so i just decided to go with the basic all 
white vans. Now, I got my regular size of a six, which is women's, you know, traditional seven and a half. I'm hoping they fit pretty well. Now, whenever I have Converse's, I do have to go down half a size. So let's just hope that these fit. But I mean, it's really like, it's nothing crazy about this shoe right here. You got the off the wall on the back. And then just the rest of it is just true white. And it's got the little, you know, the little, the little Vans tag right there. But I like these being basic. Now, once again, what am I going to pair these with? I'm going to show you guys an outfit I'll pair them with. It's an outfit you've seen before. It's not something that you haven't seen before with the uh, kind of, I, I like the khaki jogger look to have the denim and the, um, the, the denim jacket with the hood built in. So we got the off the wall sticker. Now, I joke and say three things at once because I have another pair of bands that I'm gonna have to unbox for you guys um, possibly next week, but I think I'm getting used to this trap and maybe it's maybe it's just uh, because we're so used to doing it with Jordans where you buy a shoe, you get a shirt that goes with it. Uh, I feel like that's a bad habit that a lot of us probably develop. Um, that habit continued, the habit continued, no joke, so. I went and got the Vans tee as well. So yeah, I went and got the, just the basic Vans tee. Once again, I told you, I feel like I'm a minimalist at heart, no joke. So I went and got the Vans just white tee with the red. Now, if you're used to a lot of Vans, they'll actually have like the off the wall on the back a lot of times is red. Um, now there's another pair of Vans I'm dying to get and they're actually just the basic red and white ones like this. I just, I just think that red pops, that red shoe pops. So. Go ahead, you can play me in that comment section, understand I don't care, but I am curious to know what are your thoughts on me, just, you know, just a basic fit, you know I'm gonna do an on foot and everything for you guys, whether you like it or not, I'm gonna go ahead and hit you with that on foot, just the full outfit look, and you know what, I like my little basic shoe that I can just throw on and rock with, um, I'm a fan of a lot of just all white low shoes, I mean I have the all white flight net trainers, I have the Epic Reacts that are pretty much all white, the Hirachis that are all white. We're in the spring, we're in the summer, I like a basic all white shoe, that just is what it is. So I decided to keep it tried and true with the basic true white Vans model, kind of like you would keep it tried and true with the Air Force One, low. That's just how I feel, but you can let me know uh, in the comment section what you feel about this and I'm going to rock out, show you guys some footage and we are going to call it a day. Keanu and Marcus, I'm definitely blaming this on you, okay? Blaming this on you, but you know, I love you guys to death.